I saw this article that was a few months old, but I wanted to revisit it with you today to appreciate the beauty of Western art and culture. Italian news outlet The Local Reports Bernini Masterpiece loses a finger on its way back to Rome Church. The marble statue which depicts the Roman martyr holding a palm leaf was left missing the fourth finger of the saint's right hand. In these photos, all that remains is a small stump. The accident reportedly happened as the statue was being lifted back into place above the altar of Santa Bibiana, the church in central Rome for which Bernini created it in 1626. The sculpture was on loan for the first time in its history and was requested for an exhibition featuring Bernini's works, so it was moved. But when it came back, it wasn't put into place right away, and while they were positioning it, they accidentally brought it into contact with the wall. That's how it lost a finger. This is so sad. I love Bernini. He was a 17th century Italian sculptor who was able to carve solid marble into flowing locks of hair, draped fabric, delicate fingers, skin, and emotions. I want to appreciate Western art and culture and show how artists used to be respected for their dedication, craft, and skill. One of his greatest works is The Rape of Persepina, executed between 1621 and 1622 when he was only 23 years old. It depicts Roman goddess Proserpina, I hope I'm saying that right because I know it in Greek mythology as Persephone. She was abducted against her will by the god of the underworld, Pluto, or as I know him, Hades. This upset her mother, Demeter, the nature goddess, searching for her daughter everywhere, became sad, creating deserts, becoming cold, and plants withering away, creating winter. A deal was made that her daughter may visit her from time to time, and that is when spring arises, nature filled with vegetation. Just look at the marble, the emotion, the composition, the fingers pressing into the skin. I mean, how does a person make marble look like this? Another similar one is Apollo and Daphne, created after the Rape of Persepina. It is another mythology come to life. Just look at the flowing hair turning into leaves. It is incredible that a young man can create this out of marble, solid marble. Another favorite is Bernini's David. Most people are familiar with Michelangelo's David sculpture, but Bernini's is not static like Michelangelo's. It is in action, showing more dynamics. This is the biblical story right at the climax where David hurls a rock at the giant Goliath. He is arched fully and it is at the crux of the story. It is believed that he used his son as a model for the details of the facial features, which is how he got them to be so emotionally accurate. This was the key change between Renaissance art and Baroque. Renaissance artists worked from ancient sculptures and Bernini worked from life. I hope you enjoyed a bit of arts and culture. Tune in to learn a little bit more. I plan to bring you more on these types of things and not just complain about the latest leftist propaganda. Let's become empowered by our culture and push things forward. I also wanted to address the concept of monuments and sculptures. Today, we are faced with a craze of removing these artifacts all over the country. The New York Times made a list of historical monuments removed and to be removed, and it is astonishing. I just did not realize how many we were removing or planning to remove. This is really sad to see. This is not only history being removed, but art. What if people were outraged by the mythologies Bernini's works represented because it depicts rape or religion? I spoke out about this in one of my first Rebel videos. It is our burden to live up to our ancestors and build upon what they built not tear them down. I also recited the poem Ozymandias that tells the tale of a fallen civilization through the rubble of statues once great torn down. Go check out that video. If you want to see more from me and the rest of the Rebel team, like and subscribe.